What's up guys, welcome to another video. So glad to see you guys back here. Two weeks ago I made a vlog about how I found out that you can take 360 photos with the DJI Mavic Pro and then you can do like a globe 360 effect with the photos. And at the end of that video, I said, if you guys want me to do that effect or show you how to do it, you can leave it in the comments or contact me or let me know if you want me to do it and I'll do it. So because you guys requested it, I'm gonna do it today. I know it's not Tuesday, but technically this is a tutorial and I haven't done it in a long time. So, cutie intro. All right, I apologize in advance if the audio is not so good. It is pretty windy today, so I apologize if the audio is a little bit, little bit. <laughs> so, Anyway, like I said, today I'm gonna to show you how to take 360 photos with your DJI Mavic Pro and then transform it into like a globe effect. I say DJI Mavic Pro because I have a DJI Mavic Pro, but I think that every DJI drone can do this. You just have to check uh, if it has that option. This process is pretty easy. You can get this done in like five minutes. You just have to take the photos and then stitch them together and edit it. So I'm gonna start with taking the photos and then show you how to stitch them and then get the effect, all right? Let's do it. Let's put it in the camera settings. You wanna go and hit the M for the camera settings. Go to the second tab, uh, hit photo, and then panel, and then it, ha it selects sphere because sphere is the first option. We're gonna use sphere. Go back, image size 43, image format. You can either take raw photos or JPEG photos. The program that I'm gonna use only recognizes JPEG photos to stitch them together. So you can take the JPEG photos in camera and then stitch them and then edit them or you can take raw photos and then edit them and then stitch them together but if you like edit the raw photos you have to apply the same settings all, uh, on all of the photos or it's not going to be a cohesive 360 photo so keep that in mind make sure your camera is in manual because if you do auto the drone is going to select for each photo its own exposure and then when you put, stitch them together it's not going to look like one cohesive photo it's going to look like 30 i think it's going to take 34 photos 34 like photos with different exposure so make sure you select manual all right and that's pretty much it for right now all right let's go fly Now, what you want to do is tilt the camera uh, all the way down, check the exposure, and then tilt the camera up again, check the exposure again. You're going to want to find a balance between the highlights and the shadows. Otherwise, the like the shadows is going to be like very dark or the highlights is going to be like blown out. So make sure the highlights are not too blown out and the shadows are not too dark. Find a good composition. When your composition is right, the exposure is right, you're just going to take photos. It's gonna take a while because the drone is gonna take 34 photos, I think, so I'm just gonna speed this part up. So the drone is done taking the photos, so let's go to the second part, which is stitching them and then edit the photos. The first thing we're gonna do is open up DJI Media Maker. Then we're gonna drag the folder with the photos into DJI Media Maker. Don't worry about that. Select panorama and then 360 panorama, click start and it will stitch the photos together. When it's done, open the stitched photo into Photoshop. As you can see, the photo looks like a normal panoramic photo. Let me zoom in so you can see it better. Now we're gonna adjust the image size. So go to image, image size. We want the photo to be square, so change the width to the same dimensions as the height. In my case, 6,983 pixels. Hit OK. Then again, go to image, image rotation, and hit flip canvas vertical. After that, we're gonna go to filter, and then distort, hit polar coordinates. It's gonna open up a window, and we're just gonna hit OK. You don't have to adjust anything. And there's the effect, that's it. That's pretty much it as you can see the whole image doesn't cover the whole canvas so the edges are looking a little bit weird so a way to fix this is to use the healing brush tool or you can create a new layer and then use the brush tool to like paint that part out or match it with the sky that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video 
And if you did, don't forget to leave a like down here or a comment down below. It will help the channel a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on my other social media. The links are in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.